I have a question about keyword research. So mm -hmm. I'll use my mom's business as an example. It's a carpet cleaning business. She yeah. obviously offers more services outside of that, but that's her core service. And that's the core category for um, Google and most things related to that business. Excuse me, I'm a little stuffed up. I think I have allergies. Kind of hard to talk. Um, how do you prioritize, like, where you start with the keyword research um, when there's so many places to dive in like that? How do you see under uncover the, I guess, best opportunity? Yeah. So I, I because of that, I broke keyword research into two different processes. One is the overview keyword research, and one is the when you're on a particular page keyword research. Okay, I'll have to revisit that. So the overview keyword research is literally just sitting down with every possible way someone could maybe look for something your business offers. Right, I remember that. And just to this huge, big spreadsheet. Yeah. And then with, as part of that process, you kind of break it down, break it down, break it down. And then you say, okay, I need this page. Or I've already got this page. It just should have this focus. And depending on the business, some businesses are going to have almost an infinite number of pages and you can just constantly build new and new pages. But some are going to kind of hit a wall, yeah. right? Especially when we consider that when it comes to keywords, we're talking topics, not words, right? So if we, we don't want to build two pages if they're the same topic, even if it's a different way of saying the same thing. So that would help. So that's where we start. <clears throat> the first step is just brainstorm, just huge brain dump of everything you can think of. Right. We rein that in by modifying it with things like geography or kinds of things, right? So like maybe for me, it would be a, a firm or agency or a consultancy. Right, all three different ways of describing all the different services, SEO, email, paid search, social, that I provide, but I wanna modify it with agency, consultancy, services, company, right. those modifiers. And then I wanna modify by geography, even if I can serve literally anywhere in the world, I wanna go for that low hanging fruit of local to me. So once you got all this big, it's gonna expand, expand, expand. Then you use the data, pardon me, use the data to kind of narrow it down. Because there's, you know, we can think, especially those of us who know our business really well, we can think of all kinds of ways someone would search for us, but that doesn't mean anybody else thinks of it. And if we can use the data to tell us more people look for this than that, we can then begin the process of speaking our customer's language and talking to them in ways that they think. So that's breaking it down. And then once you kind of have it, all the, the data shows you what people are looking for, then you can say, okay, so this group of keywords is about this topic that's going on this page. And this group of keywords is about that topic. It's going on that page. I need to write this page. I need to write that page. That's, that's the overview process. And that is very time consuming. But at the same time, we can't let perfection be the enemy of progress either. Yeah. Right? And that's where SEO can get really, really confusing because, you know, I, I have clients that wake up every morning and be like, what about this keyword, <laughs> right? Well, and what about this keyword? And, and today I'm gonna Google this keyword because I just thought about this, this might be another one. So there's never an end. You just got to get to the point where like, okay, this is good start. This is a good start. Mm -hmm. This is pretty comprehensive. Now I do recommend reviewing keyword research almost every six months, just do another big one based on what you've learned over the last six months. Because when you do it now, six months from now, you're gonna know a lot more about it, about your business, about SEO. It's gonna change the way you do it. Or like industries change. Like I remember doing keyword research for a company, a client of mine was doing something about cloud services. 
I'd never heard of cloud services. So I, I tried to keep a research. I'm like, yeah, there's, there's no data. A year later, I read something about cloud services and I'm like, huh. And I went and pulled the same keywords, pulled data and like, boom, suddenly a bunch of data for keyword. Well, had I, a year ago, that was the right decision. It, the market wasn't quite ready for it. Hmm. But a year later, now everybody's talking about cloud services. And so now I need to start thinking about yeah. that as a strategy, right? Yeah. But so anyway, I, I, those, those are my tips for you. Do a big thing, but don't think you have to be comprehensive because you will return to it later. Yeah. And it'll be okay. It's better to get start than it is to play the what about this keyword game and never finish. Yeah. Yeah. It, to get through this whole game plan, it's like allocate the time, spend the time getting through it and bookmark it essentially, which you have ways of doing that, how you can filter the last done and, you know, when you need to review it and the priority of it. So that's, that's great. Okay. Well, good. I hope it's helpful.